All right. So due to some recent conversations I've had with some of my clients, I decided today to do a video on plateaus. And um, I decided to do it because, um, number one, kind of everybody gets to a plateau for various reasons. Um, but number two, a lot of people just don't have the right mindset when it comes to getting past their plateau. And, you know, I get people who come up to me and, uh, you know, my clients are coming to me and they're like, oh, well, I'm doing everything right. And, you know, but my scale's not moving. Okay. And I start with, you know, because, you know, I train them. So I don't really, uh, you know, I kind of know what they've been doing in terms of the workouts mostly. Uh, so I'm like, well, what did you eat? And, um, you know, go through their week and, uh, you know, they're like, uh, well, yeah, I did good. And then, oh, Saturday I went, had barbecue and I had pizza and cake and ice cream and cookies. And, or, you know, and then, you know, Wednesday, you know, I went to, I went to, you know, Golden Corral or something like that. And it's like, man, you, you, you got to understand that, you know, there's a penalty, there's a cost for everything. And all it takes, you know, for some people, especially women, you can eat one bad meal and set you back a week or two. You know, you do a bad weekend, you can set yourself back a month easily. Uh, you know, especially if you're just eating whatever you want, drinking, you know, doing all that stuff, you can easily set your back, yourself back, uh, you know, a lot of time. And so I just try to get people to be cognizant of what you're doing because you get on the scale, you get frustrated with the scale, but it's not the scale's problem. The scale is just telling you the results of your own gluttony. All right. So, you know, when you're first starting off, it's fairly easy to make a lot of progress because you're basically, you've been eating whatever you want. You've been chilling at home, not doing anything, not burning any calories. So just burning extra calories from working out is going to work for a little while. At some point, that's not going to work as much. So you need to clean up your diet. And then for every consecutive plateau, you're going to have to work harder, uh, lift heavier, run faster, and eat cleaner. And as you, the, the further in terms of progress that you make, the more discipline you have to have. All right. If you're like, okay, if you're a dude and you're like 10% body fat or you're a girl and you're, you're like, you know, 20% or less body fat, you don't have the same margin for error as somebody who's 35, 40% body fat. You just don't have that same margin for error. Or if you're, you know, if you're like 200 pound girl, 300 pound dude, uh, you know, you have more margin, margin for error. But it's good to develop those habits now because at some point you're going to need that discipline consistently in order to cross a plateau. You know, I played college, um, I ran track in college and, you know, the workouts were so difficult that I had to make sure I was mentally prepared every time I showed up and physically, like I had to have enough rest. I had to make sure I ate or I couldn't finish the workout, man. Those workouts were tough, uh, you know, running 200s over and over and over and over again and then having to run half the track to get back to where you started during your rest time. You know, it was pretty much no rest. And it was it was tough, man. Same thing with football camp, man. You you may start off, you know, doing all right, but at some point your body's gonna start to really, really decrease performance if you're not taking care of yourself and make sure you're getting rest and hydration and all those types of things. So most people haven't competed at that level. And if you have, you definitely have a head start. And that's why you can generally tell who's been you know, an athlete or something, whether high school or college or whatever it may be, because they understand how to really push themselves. Most people, if you're not done athletics, you have no idea how far you can push yourself. And so what happens is you say, oh, well, I can't do that. So you mentally start to shut down or you get into a workout and your heart, your heart rate, you know, say you're, you're 30 or 40 years old, your heart rate's like 140, maybe 150. And you're like, oh, I can't do anymore. I can't go any faster. I can't, I can't tolerate anymore. You have no idea what your body's capable of because you have not gotten anywhere near the limit. And so what happens is your plateau is here. And until you learn to cross that threshold and really start to push yourself up into the 80, 90% of your maximum heart rate, 220 minus your age, uh, you're still going to stay at that mental plateau. And so you got to really learn how to start to push yourself. And some people are... Uh, you know, at mental plateaus and some people are at physical plateaus that just take more discipline and more focus in order to get past those. And uh, recently I did a challenge with my, with my boot campers where I, I challenged them to do their personal best mile time. You know, I don't have anybody who ran 
you know, ran track in high school or something like that. So they're, they just have no hope uh, to accomplish what they did. Um, these are mostly just just normal people uh, who want to come out and do something. And for me, like I've never been a distance runner. So it's something new for me, too. But the purpose of the drill is not just to accomplish something that you've never done before, which is awesome. Uh, and, you know, for a lot of them been training with me for years uh, we're still trying to try to improve. You've gotten older, maybe I'm training for, for five years, but we're talking about refining what we're doing so that we can get better and seeing what it takes. Uh, that's just as important as seeing the effort that it takes to do it. And so the mental aspect of it is, okay, you know, you come in, you do it, you do a, a time that is, you know, let's say within 30 seconds of your personal best, which most of my people have gotten to within uh, you know, a couple of times that we've run it, but then the, uh, the difficulty increases significantly. And the only way that you can surpass that is to make sure that you're eating right, make sure you get enough rest, make sure, um, you know, that you're showing up and giving everything that you got in the workouts because you got to be in your best condition in order to accomplish that feat. And what I see is, you know, you see people come in, let's say run an eight minute mile, come in two weeks later, run an 830 mile. That's a, that's, that's caught red hand. That means you have not been taking care of yourself. You've probably not been getting enough rest. Even if, and some people didn't miss any workouts. So what happened was you just were not focused. You either went out binge, binge eating on the weekend. We're talking about two weeks time here. So we're not talking about long periods of time. So you either just we're not focused. You, you showed up that day, not focused. You may have stayed up too late the night before or didn't eat enough or whatever it may be. But in order for you to improve every single time, you've got to be sharper and sharper and sharper and sharper until you get to that goal and until you break that plateau. And so that's what I'm trying to teach people is, you know, when you show up and you're just this and that, you're going to sit on plateaus ongoing. You're going to get one plateau and you're going to get another plateau and you're going to get another plateau. And you just can't cross plateaus by doing the same thing that you've been doing. You got to do better. You got to do more. You got to work harder. And so you either have to increase, you got to increase your, you know, your, how clean you're eating. You got to increase your, uh, sometimes you got to increase your volume in terms of the hours that you're working out, hours that you're, you know, running or lifting or whatever it may be. If you want to, you know, lift more weights, or run faster, you got to increase your volume sometimes, um, or you got to increase your intensity. For most people, it's going to be volume or intensity that's going to get you past that plateau. And if you're like at collegiate level or professional level athletics, that's different. Then sometimes you got to change your style. And for some people, if you're just in a doldrum type boot camp that's not really pushing you and challenging you, you may be just being a plateau because you're just not being challenged enough. But you got to really be pushing yourself. I'm talking about pushing yourself like to the limit. There's nothing more annoying than, you know, I go and, and try to tell somebody to do something, you know, a weight that they haven't done before. And they look at it and they're like, I can't do that. You haven't even tried it yet. And, you know, if you try it and you can't do it, I'll be able to tell you that you can't do it. I'll take, I'll take some weight off. But nothing more frustrating than somebody who just won't try. And so, you know, as a trainer, I've been training with people for a long time. And, you know, I increased the weight by, you know, five, six 10 pounds every now and then, depending on the exercise, some full body exercise, you increase it by 10 pounds or 15 pounds. And if you've been doing 20 or 30 reps of the lighter weight, if I add 12 pounds, you should be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do more, but you can still do it. So stop getting in your own way. Get out of your own way. If your own way is just sitting on the couch, get out of your own way because you're not going to get fit sitting on your couch, no matter what the TV, no matter what they advertise on TV. You're not going to get in shape. You might can lose some weight with some kind of crazy diet pill that can just wreck your body, but you're not going to get in better shape, period. So get out of your way. Do what your trainer says. Give your best effort and improve your consistency. Like if you're getting close to your maximum, you got to be on point like every day, every day, every day. And then you'll cross that threshold. And then once you get past it and your body will adapt to that, um, and then you'll have another plateau that you have to cross, but you're going to get to a plateau at some point. If you haven't gotten to a plateau yet, then you just, you know, it's just a matter of time. It's coming. So get out of your way, man. And, uh, just, 
do what your trainer says. Peace.